All right, I think we've all felt the heart pounding frustration of a dropped cell phone call, lousy cell coverage, or even a signal that's so weak you can't even make a call. But in one of Montgomery County community, it's become an everyday thing for families who say that their coverage is so bad they worry they won't be able to call 911 if they have an emergency. So tonight, investigator Bill Spencer has three solutions to help these cell starved residents and anyone else going through the same thing. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, and Montgomery real estate agent Shelly Rains has a very important business call to make. Hello. Hi, Jason. It's Shelly with Realty One Group. How are you? Hello. Jason, can you hear me? Hello. Yep. Shelly's about to have a very bad day. Call failed. It didn't even go through. I can't even make a phone call. Welcome to life in the Wood Forest community in Montgomery County, where homeowners like these say they've been battling cell phone disruption, dropped calls, and horrible coverage with AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon for years now. Inside a rapidly growing neighborhood with over 10,000 people and more than 3,500 homes. Well, it's absolutely terrible. There is many times where parents are panicked because they can't get a hold of their kids because a text message won't go through, a phone call won't go through. My biggest fear is that when you call 911, someone's going to die because you can't get through. Pull your head out of your ass and get us some towers out here. I mean, it's not that hard. Just how serious is the problem? By a show of hands, how many of you can't make a cell phone call right outside your front door? How many of you can't make a cell phone call inside your house? And how many of you can't make a cell phone call within a mile of your home? Developers of Wood Forest say the trouble is there are cell phone towers to the north and south of this community, but clearly at least one more tower is needed. <laughs> Chanel Reyes worries most about her two children needing help someday, but can't reach her. Even cell phone signal maps show she and her family are getting zero coverage where they live. Chanel, what are we looking at? What is that? So, Bill, this is an app that will show the coverage in the area, and when you zoom in, you can see the area I live in. There's nothing. KPRC2 Investigates has asked for both interviews and an explanation of what is being done to help the people of Wood Forest get the cell service they deserve. AT&T and Verizon both sent us statements essentially saying they're always looking at ways to improve their networks. Despite our request, T-Mobile failed to even send us a statement. So if you live in an area with lousy cell phone coverage, what can you do? Solution number one is to simply switch your phone to Wi-Fi calling. You go over to here to settings, hit that. Then we're gonna come down here to cellular, hit that. Up here, it says Wi-Fi calling off. We're gonna turn it on. Then we're gonna enable that, enable. And if you've got Wi-Fi in your home, you're all set. Solution number two is a lot more involved and expensive. You can buy a cell phone booster system. That requires you to put an antenna on top of your roof to pull in weak cell phone signals and broadcast them through your house. And solution number three is to switch to a different cell phone company altogether, which may have a stronger signal. As for Shelly Rains, her solution is simpler. She's moving out. I need to live where I can actually use my phone. Now to help solve this cell phone signal problem, Johnson Development, the company that built Wood Forest, has already hired a consultant who's identified three pieces of land inside Wood Forest where new cell phone towers could be built. It's now up to the cell phone companies themselves to agree to actually build those towers. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC2 Investigates.